much did you know? How much were you responsible for? Was this all your fault? Was it really you who started all this? Turns out you didn't just steal the corn again. You destroyed their servers. Erased their data. Wiped the corn again from existence. You're good at your job, Mr. Black. I'll give you that. Well, this Robert Ramsey must have paid well. I've been watching you since the moment you entered the building. Your work is impressive, but the show is over. You have my property, and I want it back. Nothing personal, you understand. Security. Kill him. enough. I'm pulling you out. But Howard, the escape. There's nothing you can do about it now. I'm pulling you out. Full insulin system flood. That's it. Stay with us, Mr. Black. I'm pulling you out. I thought this was a simulation. I was... I was there. I could feel it. The pain. It felt real because your mind perceived it to be. Injuries sustained within the Pandora will have the same effect on your brain as those sustained without. Now, stop thinking, Mr. Black. 
Clear your mind while I bring you out. Oh, Christ. I feel like I'm going to throw up. A natural response. It will become easier the more we proceed. If it helps, I have prepared a little gift for you. What are you talking about? Outside in the corridor. You see the lines of computer code. All the ones and zeros. Please, approach and proceed. Not that again. now is this another memory not quite consider this a filing cabinet mr black of all the evidence you gather we'll make sense of it eventually any information filed by the pandora is accessible for you in this room each board represents a different memory give it a try look at a couple of boards and see what happens any connections or links your mind may have made even unconsciously are recreated visually by the Pandora. I'm rather proud of this feature. You can study the investigation further or return to the asylum when you're ready. Just use the photo in the middle of the room. Mr. Black, your synaptic transitions are becoming much easier. The room you just visited will help you stay away from conjecture and concentrate only on the facts. Facts? All I know is that my name is Black, and apparently I stole this corner gun. Precisely. And an expert job it was too. ADS all but went bankrupt after you disappeared with the prototype. But I'm sure we will learn more as you proceed. Like how to get out of here. You are here through choice, Mr. Black. And if you show the same clarity of thought as you did breaking into ADS, then that might not be for too long. Red, hey, why is everyone loose? The patients must have their exercise, Mr. Black. Now move along. Match found. Patient name, Albert Hall. Suffers from severe panic disorder. What is this?
almost didn't see you there. Sneaking around like a cat. Mm. Yes. Katie. Yeah, Katie. Katie reported missing. <laughs> what did I see? How do you think? One number two. One number two. <laughs> Katie. through. <laughs> a little cat, did you find it? Did, did you find your... Uh, I'm afraid I'm past remembering. <laughs> uh, we're all past remembering. <laughs> Would you like some tea? I think tea, don't you?
Don't take this beauty away. Leave it be. Just leave it be. The party. The party. He's on his way. He's on his way. You. Blunt, Mr. Black. Hey, Blunt, indeed. Do you go through every problem with bullets? Why don't you come down here and find out? What the hell is all this stuff? I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See you then, Mr. Scatterbrain. My darling husband, I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore, but I'll be free to focus on my art and you, well, <laughs> you'll change the world like you always dreamed you would. And no matter what happens, we will always have each other. All my love, now and always, the Lord. I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news and you may want to brace yourself. <laughs> Love you loads. Honey, are you okay? Talk to me. But are you, are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said... I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> We're not just a couple anymore. It means we're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So they were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. Let me give you an example. How old are you? 25? Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse. Let me give you an example. How old are you? 25? Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street and you're scared. You start 
uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding, your, your hands get sweaty, you don't understand what's happening to you. When you're an adult, for Christ's sake, you shouldn't be scared of a horse. No, now, you've no way of knowing what the root of this phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour, maybe less. Perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just uh, stood there staring, watching, breathing, waiting. You woke up and you were terrified. I call it TRT, Toy Regression Therapy. Yeah. Give patients toys or mementos from their childhood and the psychoanalytic magic works miracles. One to ten. How much did this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten... You made them cut my fucking arms off! My fucking... We did it to save your life. That landmine... I will end you, motherfucker. I will crush your fucking throat! <laughs> How? You have no arms. But you seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, so let's call that a night, shall we? I mean, it's a sad, sad day for psychiatry and for people with mental health issues all over the world. I only helped my patients get better. Nothing more. And, and there's one thing I just don't understand. Why do the media still criticize my methods? How dare they? What about my results? Hmm? And not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured. Not one. And I know why. It's because my patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. <laughs> 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 